Zach, what are you doing here? You first. How did you even know I was here? I didn't. Jake told me I might find Ryan here. Well, then you probably know what's going on. Look, we gotta go. We gotta get out. Hey, you told me he was dying in the hospital. He looks pretty good. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait. What is this phone call about? Hospital business. Well, you can do that here at the table. <laughs> it's not gonna take long. Why, is, is that a problem? Well, we're having a nice dinner. Kendall's right, we should enjoy it. We should have dessert. And you don't think we should try and track it down? Make sure everything's all right? No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, as happy as I am with how, uh, how the evening went, Kendall and I have a long way to go. We get back to where we were, just like you and I do. I'm happy to see that you're making an effort. I'm trying. But I don't want to talk about that or Kendall. I want to talk about that chocolate cake you're going to share with me. <sighs> sorry. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. They, they told me this was the way to the top of speech. Hun. No. no, no. Actually, the topless beach is over there. I, I've actually uh, never been to a topless beach before. I, I, uh, I, I don't really know where where it is. So, huh? Um, okay. It's safe to look now. <laughs> um, where's Damon? Getting something to drink. Look, I'm sorry for accusing you of following me. That's kind of a bitchy thing to do after you save me from going splat. Uh, no worries. A girl like you probably has creepy dudes following her all the time. <laughs> Not that I'm a creepy dude. Yes. Yeah. I mean. No, no, I. That... No, I, I know what you. I know what you mean. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And I was flirting with you in the park. That is until you threw the old boyfriend word out there. Well, I'm glad you were up there, and I would like to offer you some money, maybe for a hotel to stay in. I, it, it's cool. You don't have to pay me for doing what's right. <laughs> what are you? Are you like Spider-Man or something? <laughs> it's just that handouts aren't really my thing. No, no, I wasn't meaning it like that. It's just money is not a big deal in my family. She's not lying about that. Chandlers are loaded. Mm -hmm. Chandlers. Mm-hmm. Chandlers. Very, very scary family. <laughs> Never heard of them. I am trying to keep this peaceful. It is very important that our family sticks together right now. It's all it's all okay. I'm I'm gonna marry Scott. You and JR can you really continue think to that work. I want to take marital advice from you. I'm just saying JR loves you so much. AJ, come on, let's go. It's time for bed. You gonna tell me? Are you gonna make me pay or what? You want me to guess? I just don't get it. Get what? Annie. She thinks the sun sets with you. Did you know that she was practically on her knees begging me not to hurt you? Is that why you're keeping so quiet, huh? You wanna keep Annie forever in your debt? You wanna publicly humiliate me, but you know you'll look better for Annie if you take the high road. Is that my punishment? I am taking the high road, but I'm not doing it for Annie. I'm doing it for my family, for my marriage. Marissa and I have a life to rebuild. And I cannot give her and AJ the time that they deserve while I'm cleaning up your mess. So don't you think for one second that this is over. He's already proven to me that you are not capable of holding your side of Chandler up. So, I'm gonna take charge of this family, of this company, just the way it was always meant to be.